clinical folks that are currently using uh, EMRs such as Epic or all scripts and I want to get into Epic um, even if you, your hospital does not use Epic like you want to emphasize that you are also involved in the IT side of things so for example um, Sean here he does radiology and um, if he was still a rad tech you know um, you know ask your manager ask you know, hey, how can I get more involved with uh, how this functions? How can I get more involved with um, testing? You know, uh, if if there is like a change in the module, um, well, I don't want to say module because it might be different for different EMRs, but if there's a change in the software system for your specific specialty, like ask like, hey, how can I get involved so I could help with testing, how I could, um, you know, on the IT side of things, like do it doesn't even have to be something crazy. It would just be like, hey, like I just confirmed like these orders went through properly and stuff. And you could just put it on your resume that like, hey, I helped with, um, you know, like functional testing for Epic, essentially what that is or any other software system, right? Or like, you know, confirming with uh, nurse informaticists if they say, hey, like, can you confirm blah, blah, blah is working and then you confirm it and you say, hey, like, you know, you are actually essentially helping with, functional testing in production level. So it's good for, um, you know, boosting up your resume and to mention it in interviews. Um, there are key words that you want to mention, like, like functional testing, you know, anything that involves testing, you know, um, people, interviewers like that. Um, specific to IT stuff, any, any little IT things that you could put in your resume, right? Because you... You have to focus your resume, not on the clinical. You can't put stuff like, oh, like I saw this many patients. Like, yeah, it will be good for another nursing job, but not for an IT job. Like nobody in, in the IT side sees patients, right? So you could just put in like, hey, like uh, I use this and this and this. Um, you know, I uh, placed orders in IT. Like, you know, I used, I used this software system to triage this patient from that patient, um, you know, um, I have a deep understanding of how uh, production, uh, how it works in production. So production is pretty much the environment where uh, it's used by the end users and, um, and clinicians. So, you know, just focus on that piece. If you feel stuck that you can't, um, you know, get a, a Epic job or you want to transition to Epic, like, focus on your IT piece and try to get involved with anything IT related in your uh, your current job right now, especially when you're clinical. So this, all this does not guarantee that you are going to get the job, like, you know, and it doesn't even guarantee that you're going to get an interview, right? but it just bolsters up your chances of getting an interview or getting, getting the job, right? You're essentially, um, right now, I think one of the best ways of getting into the program is, uh, you know, there are a couple, a couple of um, master's program out there and they have, um, in, like, they have um, internships, like, you know, like you really kill it in the internship and, you know, they really like you. And if you're also like clinical, like you give that extra, <clears throat> like you have to separate yourself out from, you know, people that are actually working there, people that you're um, are also interviewing for the same job. So for example, like for me, for instance, I, you know, work clinically in a lab. So if I just say, oh, like, you know, I, I used to just, you know, do like computer stuff. It's like, yeah, like everybody else and and the whole department did computer stuff, right? So what I need to focus on is like, hey, I know, you know, lab clinically. I know how to like, you know, like I know what it means to like, you know, when the patient's uh, blood gets drawn, when the patient arrives, the blood gets drawn to it being sent to an accessioning center from the accession center being sent to a lab specialty, um, you know, and then being sent to um, the LIS system, and then the analyzers, like, you know, just get in detail like that and where, like, it's more of, like, clear cut. And also, you're like, oh, okay, like, this guy understands, you know, um, different, um, you know, <clears throat> like, the process itself, like, the workflow. 
let me just yeah it's essentially like when you you have a deep understanding of the workflow that's involved and also mention it in um in an it way so what i just mentioned like you know hey like the analyzers you know i put i put my my test tubes in this analyzer and the analyzer has a different system from the LIS system, like, you know, and they're having that understanding, like, oh, so like electronically, when the analyzer gets the result, it is the results are being sent to the LIS system where we do verification. And they were like, oh, okay. And then you could just throw in words like HL7. Essentially, it is what, <laughs> what is used and um, to pretty much uh, the language is used for moving from one downstream system to another. So just little things like that will give you an edge when you have, you know, you'll have like 200 folks that are clinical and, <coughs> and you have 200 folks that are technical. You want to be the best. Uh, you want to combine both of them. You don't have to be the best, but you have to be able to combine both of them and speak to both of them. Uh, speak about both of them in a way that like, uh, you know, a really high level way, but if they ask for specifics, then you get into more detail. I'm not going to lie, it was really hard to get by. Um, I had applied to a bunch of, um, you know, hospitals to get my foot into the door for Epic. And now that um, I believe, like, it's kind of saturated when it comes to uh, Epic certification now. And most hospitals would prefer that you would be Epic certified if they were going to offer you a job. And there are, there are some hospitals that if, you know, if you work within the hospital and transition into the IT department that, you know, they would offer to send you to Wisconsin for an Epic certification, you know. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't easy. Um, it took a lot of, uh, took a lot of, uh, you know, applying a lot of like speaking with, uh, you know, different individuals. I had to tap into my network a lot, you know, and 100%, you know, tap into your network or, you know, find someone that knows something about the field. And, you know, that could actually like potentially like, you know, see a potential in you to offer you a referral and, you know, help you fix your resume. You know, just, just, you know, just prepping for everything. And it, it took a, it took a while. I would say like a couple of months, you know, it, it doesn't sound as much, but you know, it took me like, I think about a year to actually get a job in Epic just kept applying and I, I spoke with individuals that are already in the field and you know like just try to fix my resume every chance I got to get my foot in the door you know getting geared get get my resume geared towards you know doing epic IT you know how can I stand out from other people that may or may not be certified or have better experience than me you know speak about my clinical knowledge speak about you know some of the stuff that I did previously in IT uh, hardware and see how that could translate over um you know it was just like a lot of like uh applying and then fixing resume applying fixing resume applying fixing resume and then getting um you know speaking with people and trying to see if they got referrals if they could refer me in um it was it was stressful but you know well worth it now <laughs> now that you look back at it you just got to keep trying you know there's a lot of people out there they will just get one or two rejections and just be like, oh, they just don't want me. Like, you know, that's not true. You just gotta keep trying, you know, hospitals, they have their own budgets. They have their own, you know, own politics when it comes to like hiring and everything. So you just, you just, it's just mostly like, I hate to use the word luck, but you know, it also comes down to luck and like the right place at the right time kind of um, situation. So that's why you gotta keep, keep trying. So then you have more chances of, you know, being in the right place at the right time.